President Bush sees a major strategic shift in Iraq. Approval of torture techniques may have come from as high as the vice president's office, and NASA wants to learn the secrets of moon dust. Hello and welcome to the news. The G is silent. Troop cuts will be coming to an end this summer, but President Bush has declared a major strategic shift in the war in Iraq. President Bush was all like, yeah, see, it's a major strategic shift. That's why we can have people come home now. Uh, yeah, it'll be just like before the surge, but better because the surge worked. It's not going to be like the same. It's going to be like, shoot them up, even better. See? Meanwhile, General Petraeus and others who testified on Capitol Hill were like, uh, yeah, we specifically didn't say major strategic shift. It's kind of, uh, don't want to say that because then people think that everything's great. It's good, but not great. According to the Associated Press, the Bush administration's approval of torture came from Vice President Dick Cheney's office on down after the Justice Department signed off on the legality of waterboarding. Cheney and others in the Situation Room were all like, Okay, we're gonna approve waterboarding. What do you think about it, Condi? And Condoleezza was all like, The thing is, we're going to have to make sure that George doesn't find out about this. Oh crap. Hey, what you guys doing in there? I got these Totina's pizza rolls. I thought you might want some. Uh, no, we're just planning a surprise party for you. Now you've ruined it. That's... That's right, George. Just close the door. Okay. And lawmakers in the ACLU were just like, Wow. If he's eating babies, I would not be surprised now. And NASA plans to use a small orbiter to study the moon's thin atmosphere and the ubiquitous dust around it by 2011. NASA officials were all like, oh yeah, with the Apollo, I will tell you something. You sit down for this one. That moon dust, uh, it smelled like gunpowder. And it really messed up those astronauts. They went out, they were covered in it. It was a big, bad deal. We gotta make sure that doesn't happen again so we can put people on the moon. And in my mind, a saucy lady who might have worked in a diner on a sitcom from long ago, which I don't really know, was all like, All the way to the moon to study dust? I'll tell him where he can come to study dust. How about right here? <laughs> and that's today's news. I'm Marta Costello. And thanks, Rob at Orange Jack, for posting news on your site. I really appreciate it. And I really like your logo. It's kind of awesome. Come on now.